This video is going to show you how you can use the Skim R package to produce some nice simple descriptive statistics in R. We need to install some packages to run this tutorial. You can see we need the read Excel package to read in our Excel data set. And as well we need to install Skim R. So this is the package that's going to do most of the heavy lifting for this tutorial. So I've already installed these so I don't need to do it again. But in each R session we do need to pull these out of our library. Now I'm just going to read in the data set. So I'm going to call it desk stats for descriptive stats. And we use our read Excel command. And this is the path on my computer. Obviously on your computer, this is going to be different. So we're just going to read in that data and let's view it. So this is the data. A little sim simple data set. You don't really need to worry too much about the variables. We've got age, sex, Drug count, number of drugs people have consumed across their lifetime, sensation seeking, anxiety, and drinker class. That's the type of drinker they are. And I'll come back to talking about the categorical variables later on. So I'm sure you all know that in base R, we can just ask for our summary of our data frame. So if we run that, it gives us our little summary down here. And we can see it's got the minimum, first quartile, median, mean third quartile and maximum values. It's only of limited interest, you know, it doesn't include a standard deviation, which is probably one of the things that you would like to look at. So that's why we're probably better off using skim R. So in our skim R package, we just use our command skim and then desk stats. So that's skim R descriptive stats data frame. So we get a much richer output from this. So it gives us a little data summary at the top. So it tells us that this is the name of the data frame we've looked at, number of rows, number of columns. Now, because we haven't told it otherwise, it views every column as being numeric. And I'll come on to how to deal with categorical variables later on. So at the moment, it's views them all, all six columns numeric. And we're not grouping it by anything at the moment here. So we can see it gives us our variable name, the number of missing, the completing complete rate, and it gives us a mean, a standard deviation, and then 0%, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. So our percentiles here for the scores on our variables. And then it even gives us a nice little histogram as well, which is pretty cool. So we can see a little histogram of all our variables there. Now you will note that you can see it's done this one to one decimal place, this is to three and so on. Now the reason for this is that it's just doing it to three significant figures. So if we want to change that, we can just change it using options and we type pillar.sigfig equals four. So this is going to do it to four significant figures instead. Um, default is three of this, so you could change it to four, you could change it to five or so on, but for this tutorial, changes of four will work nicely. So now we've got it to four, so we can see now this now goes to two decimal places for us there. And we've got our standard deviation now, and so on. So it doesn't make much impact to results, but it does give us the number of decimals that would be more likely to one off than we give things to two decimal places. So we've got a nice, simple summary of the data. However, it is worth knowing that within this data set, there's people have only said they're male or female. So we've got a categorical variable of sex. And we've also got this drinker class variable as well. So what we need to do is do our very standard way of labeling our categorical variables. We want to tell that in this case, sex is a factor. It's got two levels, which are coded as zero and one. And in this data frame, zero means male, one means female. And then we need to label our drinker class variable as well as a factor. And this has got four levels, zero, one, two, and three, which are non-drinker, light, moderate, and heavy drinker. So if we label those now, and then we run our skim command, we'll get slightly different results. So now you can see our column type frequency has changed. We've got two factors, 
of four numeric and the two factors are the ones we've just labeled. So it gives us just different information for our factors now. So we can see it's still got a number of missing the complete rate, whether it's ordered or not. And then we've got our number of unique values. So you can add there's two values in this, zero, one, and there's four values in this, zero, one, two, and three. And then it gives us our counts. So we've got 33 males and seven females. We've got 14 light drinkers, 11 non-drinkers, nine moderate drinkers and six heavy drinkers. And it puts these in the order of the number of participants. So we, because light drinkers is the biggest category, it's got the most people in it, that one comes first. And then these variables at the bottom are all exactly the same as before. Now, we may not want to look at the full data frame. We may just want to look at certain variables. That's very easy to do. We just type skim our data frame, our desk stats data frame, and then we can just list the variables that we're interested in. So we can just get it for sex and age. So again, the full data frame, it's all six columns, but now it's only going to give us our columns that we've asked for. So we've got one fact and one numeric. And here's the factor, and here's the numeric one, age as well. So we can don't have to look at the full thing. Now, something else that we, you may wish to do is have your descriptive separately for different groups. So we can use that, and we can use the function in Deplier. So we can install that and pull it out of our library. So what we do is we have our desk stats data set and then we use this so we feed into it we our group by sex command so using the player we do group by sex and then we use our skim command after that so what this is essentially doing is getting the data set grouping it separately by sex and then it feeds in this grouped data set into our skim command. So if you run that, you can see it's now pipe data because what Deplier does is use what we call pipes. And we can see we've now got grouped variables of sex. So we can see our drinker class variable is now done for males. So within our males, we've got 13 light, eight non, seven moderate, five heavy. In our females, we've got three non-drinkers, two moderate drinkers, one light drinker, and one heavy drinker. And again, you can see we've now got age for males, mean standard deviation, etc. Age for females, mean standard deviation, etc. So we can look at our descriptive statistics separately by our groups. So this is a really useful package Skimar is really good for just an initial look at your data set and getting a good idea of any missing data and so on. If you want to look at other descriptive statistics guides, there's a link below this video to another descriptive statistics tutorial I made using both base R and the table one package. And the code found here, as well as the data set we used, can be found in the link below this video as well.